Okay, so I'm now, I'm now going to start the histology of the heart. You see, previously I discussed about the great vessels. And now I'm going to discuss the cardiac muscles. So as you are all aware, we have three basic types of tissues. We have what we call the muscle tissue. So the uh, four different categories of tissues. We have the muscle tissue. We have the connective tissue. We have the nervous tissue. And then we have the epithelial tissue. These are the four categories of tissues that we do have. The one out of these four is the muscular tissue. This muscle tissue, it also made up of three, it is made up of three types of, you know, uh, categories. It is made up of three categories. We have what we call cardiac muscle, we have what we call smooth muscle, and then we have what we call skeletal muscle. So even the muscle itself is made up of three categories. One of these is this heart or cardiac muscles. When you now compare the cardiac muscle with the smooth muscle and the skeletal muscles, they are totally different. I'm sure you must have done this in, you know, general histology, but I'm going to just make it complete, you know, because I'm discussing the cardiovascular system. When you discuss the cardiovascular system in histology, you also have to talk about the heart histology. So, as you all know that the heart is also a tubular, you know, it's, it's a hollow organ, you understand? And so inside it, the lining of the heart, is also lying by the simple succamous epithelium. So you have the endothelial cells lining all the chambers of the heart, be it the atria or the ventricles. So either left or right atria, left or right ventricles, all these are lying internally by endothelial cells just similar to the lining of the vessels. That is the artery or the vein or the capillaries. So even the heart is lined by, so this is just a cross section of part of the heart. So this is just like some portion of the internal part of the heart. So here, the internal lining here, as I told you, is similar to that of the vessels. That means it is lined by this endothelial cells. Then, you have the cardiac muscles surrounding the endothelial cells. So these cardiac muscles, they are similar to the smooth muscles in that they are more or less cylindrical in shape, but they have a centrally located nucleus, unlike the smooth muscles, which has a peripherally placed you know, nuclei. So if this is a smooth muscle, for example, the nucleus is peripherally located. It's not located at the center, like here. If you see most of these cells, they have their own nuclei. This one's located in the center of each of the cell. While the smooth muscle cells, if you see their own arrangement in different parts of the body, you will see that they don't branch. But the cardiac muscle, if this is a single cardiac muscle with centrally placed nucleus, so it may branch, you know, like this. You get it? So now you may have branching. You have branching of these cells. So one of the differences between cardiac muscle and the smooth muscle is that the cardiac muscles branch and rebranch. So there is a branching of each of these cells. This is the second difference apart from centrally located nucleus. Similarly, you have what you call junctional complex or complexes. That means between one cell and another, there's what you call intercalated disc. This intercalated disc is between one cell and another. So as to allow continuity of flow of structures from one cell to another cell. So content of cell A, if this is cell 1, this is cell 2. So content of this cell can move into this cell 2. 
through this intercalated disk. Are you clear? So now we have seen that the cardiac muscles have what we call intercalated disk, while the smooth muscles do not have. So now we have seen three differences. The smooth muscles, they are not branching, while the cardiac muscles, they are branching kind of the cells. Smooth muscles, they have peripherally located nuclei, while the cardiac muscles, they have centrally located nuclei. The smooth muscles do not have intercalated disc, while the cardiac muscles, they have intercalated disc. Are you clear? If you now compare the cardiac muscle arrangement or the heart histology is similar to that of a vessel. In that, if you can remember, we said, with regard to the vessel, we have three important tunicas. We have tunica interna, tunica media, and tunica externa. So the tunica interna with regard to the heart consists of this endothelial cells and the basement membrane that is covering or deep into, you know, between the cardiac muscle and the endothelial cells. So we have this arrangement. Then you have the muscles, the cardiac muscle with this, you know, arrangement. Then finally, you have another cover of membrane covering the cardiac muscle. That is what we call the pericardium. That pericardium is similar to the tunica externa of the vessels or the veins. And this pericardium consists of nothing but connective tissue, you know, structures. So it consists of collagen fibers, some elastic fibers, and some reticular fibers, apart from the connective tissue cells. So the pericardium covers is a membrane that surrounds the uh, heart. So we have the endocardium, which is the endothelial layer. Then we have the cardiac muscle, which is the myocardium. And then we have the tunica external, which is the pericardium. So that means we have the tunica intima or tunica interna, known as endocardium. So made up of what? Made up of endothelial cells and basement membrane. The myocardium is made up of purely of the cardiac muscles. Are you clear? Then finally, the pericardium is made up of the connective tissue fibers, ranging from the collagen, it consists of more of collagen fibers, plus the elastic fibers and some reticular fibers. Apart from it having some of this, you know, uh, connective tissue cells, you understand? So, but uh, this is, uh, you know, the basic histology of the heart, you know, as, 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 as an organ. You know, so if you understand this, I think you are done.